six Palestinians were killed. Three of them were killed in the beach camp in the Gaza area, in the eastern Gaza area. Three others were killed in Bani Suhaila area in a bombardment that took the life of the three in Khan Yunis area in the east of Khan Yunis. The situation continues to be extremely tense in Rafah, where the Israeli occupation continues to destroy whole residential blocks as part of the ground operation that has never slowed down but is still continuous, despite the fact that the statements that were made by the Israeli occupation Prime Minister Netanyahu foretell that there is going to be slowdown in this operation to launch and start the uh, third stage in the sometime very soon. However, the bombardment is still continuous. The number of houses that are destroyed is also very high and whole residential blocks were wiped out and people are still getting shot and injured by the unmanned drones fire that has been hovering all around the different encampments in the western Rafah area and western Kharyun's area and causing widespread death and injury among those people. The latest incident of that was the incident that took the life of two Palestinians and injured 37 others. According to the Palestinian Minister of Health, Around 500 Palestinian health workers were killed and around 310 health workers were arrested by the Israeli occupation forces. They concluded in a statement that they published and distributed to the media that around 64 health facilities were rendered out of service because of the ongoing bombardment and targeting of those facilities and 160 health facilities were targeted in total because also of the ongoing situation and because of the reckless way of a treatment that has been conducted by the Israeli occupation. Also, the UNRWA made a statement that around 191 UNRWA staff were killed and they said that they cannot verify the numbers and that the numbers could be much higher, but due to the lack of communication, proper communication, they could not verify the number.